Yeah. Well, that's a mic. <laughs> Just letting you know. Oh. Oh, do we get to Yeah. No, 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 something no. horrible, actually. Not nice. Definitely not nice. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually, I actually started off with talking to him about what, which I was going to ask him anyway, um, what he actually thought about your album. So okay. I wanted to hear what he had to say about that. What did he say? I said shit. But, yeah, of course you did. So, yeah, what do you actually think of this? Um, yeah, no, as I was saying before, it's like the hardest I've seen him work on anything um, in the whole time. And the, the process of it being finished has taken <laughs> probably the process it took to get it started. So, it's, um, I don't think he could have produced, not produced anymore, but I, I think he's put absolutely every last bit of his end time and energy into it. And I think it reflects when you listen to it. From when, when you listen to it from start to finish, you have to listen to it from start to finish. Start to finish. Okay, so, he, so he said good stuff. Right. Yeah. Um, I also but we have been talking about 15 minutes, so I don't think we've got to We do have another video though in case you want to... That's cool, I'm going to check actually, it out, when make he sure. When thinks about your album. I, I didn't bring my prod. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you think about it? Yeah. So, um, we also find it really interesting that it's called Chapter 2 because I was just saying that... Um, can, I, can I just say that I, that I named it? Yeah. You, did you? Yeah. Actually, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Did you, is that for real? Or it's for real. It's true story. It's true. Yeah? Yep. Where did that come from though? Because the first album was called Diary of Afro Warrior. Well, the second album was Diary of Afro Warrior, but then Chapter 2. Chapter 2. Hmm. Um, it's also interesting that you called it Chapter 2 because um, what I was saying was that in any interview or whenever anybody speaks to both of you, they kind of call you the pioneers of, of dubstep in the UK, which is very well deserved. But does that also kind of work as like a double edged sword for both of you? Uh, yeah. 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 Like, can they hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you, can you, can you hear so me? So I talk into his mic like that. Talk into my neck. Yeah. <laughs> How do you like that, boy? <laughs> no, but on a real tip, I think one of the key things about that is that at this moment in time, it's irrelevant. Yeah, it's really irrelevant. Do you know what I mean? We kind of. We're doing something new now. We're always trying to push new directions and make sure that we stay ahead. And for us to be looked at as the people that kind of started it, and that's what we will concentrate on. The, the problem is people want us to play. Although the, the thing is, they don't want us to play music that we made in 2004 and five. But they'll soon go. But they they'll, don't want you to transition. They'll send you messages going, "Why didn't you play Midnight Request Line?" It's like because I made it like like seven years ago now. Yeah. Like sometimes I'll play it, I'll spin it for like a minute or something, but it's people like if we went out and played all old stuff, the crowd wouldn't be feel it. Like you'd have like a group, a handful of boys at the front who would like it. Yeah. <laughs> and everyone else would be a bit like It's funny man, this? we make music every day, so for us to like yeah. rinse all of our old stuff is hard. But there are a lot of like polarizing like reactions because at the same time like you said they don't want you to be to be playing your old stuff but they don't want you to completely transition yeah. away from what you're doing as well. Or what we've done. That's the thing, yeah. it's not what we're doing, it's what we've done okay. already. And that's, you've got to think, we was, we was 14 and 15 when we made, like, started making them tracks. And like, like, we was peaking, we was having like smash records when we were 16 and 17, we're like, that's 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. So it's like, if we didn't progress in 10 years, it'd be really worrying. <laughs> but were you kind of surprised with the reactions that came when you started like transitioning to like other, like, experimenting with like other genres? Was it like surprising for you? For me, it was it's gone really well. It's gone really like quite smoothly. Yeah. Um, like obviously, there's like the worst thing is because I don't like having it advertised as any other sort of set. Um, some people get a bit pissed off that they turn up and they haven't been told what it is, like what that, what I'm, not, that I'm not playing dubstep at a certain show, etc. I mean, so that what do you think of his mix or on Miami? I think it's amazing. He hasn't yeah. heard it. Uh, you, so what are you talking it. about? Big <laughs> yeah. I have heard it and I think it's amazing. I think what he's done is that he's in it. Uh -huh. And I think that's key to what, anything that you do. You've got to believe in it and you've got to be in it. And I think, you know, some people try and make transitions for the wrong reasons. To but, follow a trend. Yeah, he's not trying to do that, which is what I respect. And I, I think both of us are very, very true to our art. and. Like, I'm doing what I want to do, he's doing what he wants to do, and I just, I respect it, and I think it's good. Okay, and when you're kind of like uh, traveling to kind of, uh, you know, locations and places that you haven't like played before, like territories like ours, do you find that there are like a lot of like preconceived notions about what that set is, and how do you kind of work towards it? Because a lot of new people who came in with the new territories think that 
doorstep is dubstep. Do you find that in your territories? Yeah. Um, some. The problem is you'll have some people in a certain territory who are diehard fans. Yeah. But there will only be one or two of them. And then the majority, the mass majority is the mass majority. They want to hear the mass majority sound. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, you can't, it's no one's fault. It's just, it's just how it is. So then, you, but then you end up with a backlash of from the, the diehard fans that know everything about you and every record you've made, which is great. Okay. But you can't just play for that one person or that, them two people. So like sometimes you let people down when you turn up and you, we might play a bit more having a more of an acceptable sound outside of England, like, like, so come, f like, so like, go to Bangkok, for instance, last night, we know that there's a lot, there's, it's very touristy, and there's probably only one or two people who actually, who know our full background, so, <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's true, isn't it? Yeah, it's true, and it's funny because, as you say that, he looks at his Twitter, and just before we're about to go on, he goes, oh, someone cussed us from last night, and said that we just played bro step, and just da 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 whatever, and I just, oh, <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, the club went crazy. Like the club, they, they were talking about the show in Jakarta, and the, yeah. the show was crazy. Like it's people was going insane. This is it. Like the thing is, what people forget is, our DJ shows have always been the same. We play high energy, aggressive music. Yeah. And it was only it was only because the influence of <laughs> uh, like when it like when especially in the sound in America blew, and that become very dominant. Um, it was like then that was that was blasphemy. Oh, you can't play that. You have yeah. to play everything with no mid range, and like yeah. and just sub bass lines. And it's like, but we didn't do that in the first place. It's yeah, like it's kind of what we've always done. It's it's why we it changed I mean, anything. We influenced we America heavily. Like we was like the first people to go out and play dubstep yeah. shows out there. So it's like it's quite. It goes hand in hand. Like. You checked your Twitter accounts about this gig again. <laughs> <laughs> have you? No. Have you? But this show too. My, my, I haven't got my laptop. I left it. Yeah, he throw it. Yeah. I'll, I'll <laughs> check it. Why? We're a polite nation. No, we're good. Oh, good, right. Yeah, what do you nation. think? What, what do you think? What's your expectations of our show? I actually think it's going to be packed, and I think it's going to be like super high energy because I think people just really like to dance here. Right? Yeah. I think that's the one thing in common. People are just really yeah. grateful that there's good music happening, and they're not afraid to like show it. People just want to party, right? Yeah. I think it's going to be amazing. I think, I think that's, yeah, that's what every day should be about. Yeah. <laughs> Drinking, partying and listening yeah. to music. Okay. Well, wrapping up, um, are there any artists right now um, on your playlist that people would be surprised with? Like any new music surprised. that you're listening to? Route, <coughs> Route 94 is my, my real. Who yeah. I'm really into at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He's he's just he's 19. He's amazing. His just tracks are so good. His production's amazing. Okay. Who are you listening to right now? Who am I listening to? Yeah. I think honestly, people like what people that would be surprised that I'm listening to would probably be. It's the opera. <laughs> it, it's not. It's not opera. No. I'm afraid I can't surprise you with that because I'm not, <laughs> not listening to that. But um, I'm listening to. I can't even think. I'm pretty sure that. Okay, you know, top five tunes on your iPod. Five tunes on my iPod. Five wow, this iPod. is getting worse and worse. I can't even <laughs> think of that either. <laughs> Does, it doesn't have an iPod. I'll ask me the clothes that You're I'm wearing. Not listening, what am I you? wearing? <laughs> Who are you wearing? I'm wearing Jordans. I always wear Jordans. <laughs> I love to wear Nike Jordans. <laughs> <laughs> Ask me the colour of my hair. What's the colour of your hair? It's kind of going in between. You wouldn't take my hat off. He's a hater. He's hating me. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> I wear my hair is like this. It's a mess. Uh -huh. It started falling out. I bleached it, kind of blonde. <laughs> and then um, it fell out. It fell out. <laughs> so now I'm always wearing hats. Thank you for letting us put that on camera. This is cool. This no, is cool. Really. We're having a lovely time. I that. No, I love you. But it's you cool. still didn't give us any music. Okay, I'll take some music. I listened to... What was the last three records you bought? Yeah. last three records I bought were Kendrick Lamar, Good, City, Good Kid, Mad City, which is my favourite album at the moment. I'm thinking about that, but now that you've said it... <laughs> <laughs> he said it. It draws attention. Yeah, um, yeah I don't like Scream. <laughs> <laughs> we were not last three yeah. records I bought was um, Chapter 2. <laughs> <laughs> um, the new Neon Neon record. He's the worst kind, you know that? He's a black man in kid. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I, think that's where, I think that's where it comes to an end. It's so hard, man. He's black man me. That's what I did. I was like, yeah, I bought your album. Better show me love. <laughs> Got it. Thank you.